because it's mid-weighted, so it's not too light, not too too big and overwhelming. Rich, um, plummy, dark fruits um, and a lovely texture to it. You get some bubbly tannin, some bubbly soft <laughs> and, and if you can get that, which very much comes back to the vineyard, finding the right vineyard, finding the right soils and the right yield levels, it's, uh, it's a very difficult variety to grow, but if you can do it, then you can, you can do amazing things. But... To me, it's one of those varieties that everyone knows more for its texture and the way it feels in your mouth, rather than say it's flavour. It's always, I suppose, known as being smooth and, and supple and very velvety. In Bordeaux, um, Merlot is very highly regarded as the most expensive wine, given with the great um, Petrus, it's probably no more expensive wine than that in Bordeaux, and that's a basically 100% Merlot. So the, the variety has, certainly has credence.